My name is Lisa Canning and I'm an interior stylist. I've been running my own business for five years with an emphasis on small space design. So many people live in small spaces today, whether it's those on a tight budget, those that prefer downtown, urban condo and apartment living, or even those who are downsizing or investing in older homes that are not as spacious. There are four main things to consider when living in a small space art and design, difficulty choosing the right furniture, finding creative storage solutions, and of course, cleaning up clutter. Creating a beautiful home in a budget can be tough, but by getting creative with a small space, you can live a more streamlined, organized life. Start thinking about design and ask yourself, what can I do to open up my space? Many think that just because you live in a small space, you have to stick to light, plain colors, but that's not the case. Pattern wallpaper makes a great graphic statement so you can save on wall art and you can easily apply it yourself, saving on labor costs. It's also essential that you choose the right furniture. Some think that you have to choose tiny furniture if you live in a small space, but if you do that, your home will quickly resemble a dollhouse. Instead, consider sleekly designed furniture that's appropriately sized for the room. My couch is full size but it has a streamlined profile from end to end. Glass tables trick the eye into thinking there's more space than there is. In my dining room, I opted for stools that tuck nicely under the table to open up the room when we're not eating. A big downside of small spaces is always storage, but finding pieces that can be dual purpose really helps. For example, my living room has no storage. It's a big pain point for us. So I keep my eyes open for items that can do double duty, like an ottoman that can also store my kids' toys. I also use a lot of baskets. They look clean on the shelf and they're a great way to stay organized. The day-to-day -day clutter that piles up in a small space can be one of the toughest things to tackle. I suggest giving my family a foyer shoe limit. Each family member is allowed two pairs of shoes in the front hall at any given time. Other shoes can be stored in bedroom closets or tucked away for the off-season. Designate a spot for all mail and keys. Whether this is a small basket or drawer, having a spot will not only keep things decluttered, but make it easy to find. Sure, adjusting to small space living can be tricky, but there are so many great things about it. Less space means less money needed to fill it. So by putting a bit of extra thought into art and design, furniture choice, and getting inventive with how you cut the clutter, you'll be living a more streamlined life with a bit more cash in your bank account.